Hello everybody, it's Lila and welcome back to my channel. Today we are thrifting. I am so excited. If you are new to my channel, my name is Delilah. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. I vlog every single week as I have been for the last like three years. I have two kids, Eloise who is almost three, Theodore who is almost one. I make all kinds of videos, cleaning, cooking, Theo is zero right now, you're right. But of all the videos that I make, thrifting is by far my favorite. I just love everything about it. I love the hunt, I love just the vibe. I love that it's ethical and sustainable and that it's affordable. That is what we're doing today. We are going to be stopping at one of my all-time favorite thrift stores. It's a bit of a drive, it's a bit out of the way for me to come to, so I don't come very often. I'm gonna go pay for parking, I'm gonna get the stroller out. It's a nice day, we can actually walk outside without the air hurting our face. It's a good day. We're gonna go grab some coffee and get thrifting. where I found like my dream jeans and I found some really cute stuff for Theo and everything is like really reasonably priced and they have the cutest baskets, so cute. Victoria today. She's the best to go thrifting with because like you can spot all of those vintage things like I just have like a lot of knowledge about what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> like this from 1952. And you're like okay. What? Okay. <laughs> and also like when you make clothes, you kinda of have to know what style. Oh yeah. Victoria's also the one who has fixed like all of my pants. <laughs> the pants that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> She also makes Eloise dresses. No, no, the, the macaroni dress. The, the, yeah, the macaroni dress. What do you got? This. <laughs> this. We can't just leave these laying around. Can you go bring it back? No. Do you like it? No. I fit it. Yeah, it would fit you. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, what about these pants? Do you like those? Mm. Or do you like these ones better? The brown ones or the jeans? Uh-oh, somebody's getting help. Jeans or brown pants? Jeans. You like the jeans? Those ones? Uh-huh. All right. Mm, yeah, a little small, I think. <laughs> what about on you? What do you think? Perfect. It looks so cute. Do you like it? I'm getting creative over here. Put on you? Oh, oh I think a it's a little small. small for you too. He's like, oh. Hmm. Yeah. Do you want to see? You want to see if I'll What do you it? think? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> we went to the Once Upon a Child yesterday and she picked out all the very, very pink things. And then we went to Party City and we asked, I asked her what she wanted for her birthday and she said pink. Pink, pink. everything. Pink. Oh, I'm glad you like pink. <laughs> this is cute. That is really cute. to fit in something like this small. If this isn't Saskatchewan, I, I don't know what is. <laughs> we have moved on to thrift store number two. We're at Value Village now. The other one was like kind of disappointing. I think this is a bad time of year to thrift. I don't know. I find like spring cleaning time is right about now though, so she would want to. You think? I was at a thrift store just earlier this week and it was just like, it was really cleared out. There was nothing there. Maybe they're preparing. Oh yeah, they could be getting rid of stuff. could be. I like how Eloise just gravitates towards you. Four bucks for that? You put a little bit of It's actually thing, supposed yeah. to be. Yes. Hmm. I 
I don't know what this is for, but I like it. What is it for? <laughs> Like different types of vinegar or oil. Oh. It's got like the stoppers in it. It's only four bucks. I want to know what that looks like. <laughs> Aww, that's yeah. disappointing. <laughs> You know what it is? Oh, it's a wine opener. It's a wine bottle opener. And like the, that one you put wine in there? I think, yeah. It's like, looks like the size of wine, like a camping kit maybe for. That's what it looks like. Hmm? Doing <laughs> with kids is not as easy as it looks on camera. No. Nope. <laughs> like orange ones. <laughs> Those are pretty. No, no, no. I like a toy. You want to look at toys? Okay. Yeah. I like your hat. I like your hat. I think we've gotten about five compliments so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Eloise found something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I'm here. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Oh, she always finds like the largest plastic toy. Eloise, <laughs> come here. Are you pouting? Eloise, this is embarrassing. Come on, stand up. Kids are napping or falling asleep. We had a lot of success today. Forgot to bring my reusable bags into one of the stores, so my mistake, but this is from the first store. I got a full reusable bag of stuff from the other store, and I'm really excited about the things that I found. I scored some really good things. I did not even step foot into the women's clothing whatsoever. This is just like other stuff. Lots of it is for the kids, some of it's decor. <laughs> Let's be real, most of it is for the kids. But regardless, I'm really excited. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my uh, my merch. This is the honey tea and this is the adult version. There's a kid's tea as well as a baby onesie that says honey bee on it. So it's really cute. It can be like matching with your kids. There's also a few other items in my merch line. They're all ethical, sustainable, organic. Awesome stuff, super comfy. The link to my merch is always down below in the description box if you're ever curious. Let's just get started. All right, so the first store was an MCC thrift store. It's a smaller thrift store. Usually there's really good stuff, but everything was just kind of cleared out. So there just wasn't as much selection this time. First of all is this hat. I'm pretty sure this is like a doll's hat, but Eloise has such a small head and this is in like perfect condition. I was like, why not let her wear this as a hat this summer? I was gonna order something very similar that would have cost me like 60 to $80. This was 250. So I think I'm gonna try and add like a chin strap so that stays on her head. They had so many cute little baskets at this particular thrift store and so I bought a set of just small little bowls They're in really good condition, 75 cents each. I figured we could use these for like sensory play, just play in general. So this is definitely for the kids, for their toys. Uh, we could like sort colors. Eloise could use these as bowls in her play kitchen. I love finding things like this at the thrift store for Eloise to play with because they're so cheap and they're way better than going out and buying like plastic dishes next up is this little guy I love finding little baskets like this I really try to like reel myself in and not buy too many baskets like this just because we don't have a lot of room for decor in our house but I thought this would be really cute just to put like flowers that Eloise picks for me in summer or even wheat just a really sweet little decor piece then I found this one we actually have something similar we have this guy sitting up on our shelf in the living room so it's very similar it's got like a, a lid on it and it's one of my favorite little pieces and so 
I found a similar one. Either Eloise is going to use this in her playroom or this is going to end up being decor. All of these baskets I think were 75 cents, which is really cheap. And I got this little glass container. This is going to be used for like cotton balls, q-tips, probably some kind of bathroom vanity decor piece slash storage. I'm not entirely sure where this is going to end up, but these little kinds of knickknacks are very, very useful. This was $1. This is kind of a weird one, and I never would have purchased something like this, but Victoria, she knows a lot of really useful information. She says it's useless. I say it's useful. I've learned a lot from her. So this is the kind of brush that you would use on like shoes, like Zach's work boots, my Blundstones. You brush on like a weatherproofing substance onto your boots that way they become winterproof waterproof all that jazz and so a brand new one would cost she said like upwards of ten dollars this is one dollar it's vintage it just needs a little clean lastly from this thrift store i found eloise some pants these are like the perfect little vintage mom jeans. These are from Sears, and Sears I don't think exists anymore. I don't know if these are gonna fit her because she is so tiny, but these are like high-waisted mom jeans. I recently did purchase her some jeans, but they were too big, so I'm really hoping that these ones fit. I don't even know how much this was, but my total for all of this stuff was $10. The next store we went to was a Value Village, and I almost always have a lot of success at Value Village. It is more expensive, but they've just got so much good stuff. The first one, and oh, I'm so excited about this. I mean, this is maybe a little bit pricey, but I got a little bongo drama for the kids. I've been looking for one of these for so long, and these even match their little Cuban maracas that I got them for Christmas. I also thrifted these from a different thrift store. They've got like a little basket of instruments that they absolutely love. So I was really looking for a drum to add to their collection. I found this and I was like, this is like, it couldn't be more perfect. Funny story, a few days ago, I actually ordered a little handmade drum from a really cute shop named Wild Creek Co. I ordered it for Theo, either for his birthday or for Easter, I wasn't sure yet, but then I found this. I also found some drumsticks to go along with it. I think this is like a bongo drum, but these drumsticks were sitting right there. So this was $10, drumsticks were $4. They are gonna have a blast with this. Next up is this guy. This is really good quality and I recently purchased something similar to this from the dollar store. I'll actually, I'll go show you. We recently got this guy from the dollar store. Eloise has been using it to like put rocks in. So these are like her play test tube kind of things. There's a lot of things you could do with this, but this is just like really good quality. I'll either use it for like propagating plants or I'll use it as some kind of decor. I might put like some oils in them. I'm not sure, but it was only $4 and I knew I would get some good use out of this. Next up is a photo album. I like to collect photo albums from thrift stores. So much cheaper at the thrift store, like photo albums are expensive. I really enjoy having actual printed pictures to look at. Plus these look really nice just as decor on the shelf as well and so this was three dollars next up is a set of wooden bowls these are kind of like a square shape but they're stackable again Eloise is going to be using these either in her playroom or even outside in summer uh, she could use these in the sandbox she could make like mud cakes with them whatever and they were only four dollars this is one of those purchases that I purchased solely for the purpose of Eloise not throwing a temper tantrum I don't know what it is but she loves this book she doesn't even watch Peppa Pig but girl wanted this book so <laughs> let her have a book it was not worth the argument apparently I'm starting to collect the series of unfortunate event books I read all these as a kid they were some of my favorites so I found number one and then eight through twelve so we're still missing two through seven but now I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled I think these are like two dollars each and they're in really fantastic condition they look beautiful on a shelf really excited ha 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 victoria i bought your mugs because you forgot them in my cart <laughs> for once i did not purchase mugs for myself victoria found these they're beautiful they're like a white with a brown speckle can't really tell the sun's kind of shining in a funny way but they are really beautiful i have victoria to thank for a lot of these purchases because she found a lot of them and i was like I would never have seen that had you not come thrifting with me, so thank you. She found this little guy, and this is 
going to be so perfect for Eloise. It's a decorative little watering can. It doesn't actually work. Her favorite thing in summer is watering plants, and so I thought this would be perfect for her to pretend to water plants with me indoors. It was only $3. It'll be a really cute little like decor piece amongst her play stuff. Little tip when you go thrifting, do not overlook the little baggy section because you can find some amazing things in there. For example, these coasters. How cool are these? I have been looking for coasters for a long time. These are so unique and so beautiful and they were only three bucks. Three bucks. They just needed a little wash. They're not in great condition, but you know what? That's okay. These will match perfectly with our living room. Have you noticed a theme? I like the color brown. <laughs> it's not even so much about the color, it's about the texture. Like I love wood. I love wicker. I love that like raw, natural texture and look. So the other day I went to the dollar store, I bought her this little like treasure box and in it I put a bunch of like seashells and rocks and things. She's obsessed with it. It is like her favorite toy ever. And the shells I used in there were special shells that we had found throughout the years and so I, I didn't really want them to get broken. But I found a bag of shells at the thrift store. So I'm gonna replace the shells in her treasure box with these ones. There's some really big ones, there's some small ones. She'll have a lot of fun just looking through that. And that was $3. I usually don't find a lot of wooden toys at the thrift store, but today, I scored this really sweet homemade car. Theo's birthday is coming up in just a couple of months. I might give this to him on his birthday or I might give it to him in his Easter basket. Not sure yet, but it was only $4. Um, it's really sweet. I might even give this to Eloise. I'm not sure. I just thought it was really cool because it was clearly handmade and just really well put together. Two more things. Next up is this hand woven bag. These are really nice for like groceries or taking to the beach. I've been looking for a bag like this and this is like a nice big one. This is really cute just as decor but it's also really useful. And lastly, the very last thing. Again, I have Victoria to thank for this one. This is a hand knitted baby blanket. Really, really well done. This is gonna look really good either on Eloise's bed or on Theo's bed. Instead of going out and buying really expensive bedding for them, I really like to look at the thrift store because I can find some awesome stuff. That is everything for this thrift haul. I have been sitting here for literally 20 minutes just showing off all my goods. I found so much good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Leave a comment down below and tell me what was your favorite thing that I found. I honestly can't decide. Thank you to Victoria for helping me film this video and for joining me on this little adventure. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified as soon as my videos go live. I'll be doing a lot more thrifting videos in the future because I just love them so much. Also, I've done a lot of thrifting videos in the past and I do have a thrifting playlist. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go and watch the rest of my thrifting videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.